Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and in this video we'll go over everything you need to know to successfully sneak upon your enemies. Everything about sneaking and stealth. But before we start, just a friendly reminder, if you find this video helpful, every like and every sub helps a lot Tartus army and I truly appreciate all your support and you taking this extra step. And now to the video. We start from the most important thing. Four fillers of successful stealth build. First and the most important is high agility. Not only your base agility, but your total agility that you'll see in P-Boy under stats special in here, like I have 23 at this moment. Second is escape artist perk. And not only because of its active purpose, but even more because of its passive function that's not even stated in here. Basically, it completely removes any sound of your footsteps. Therefore, you can walk and run absolutely silently. Third one, it's any armor that offer a shadowed mode as a primary mode. Then you want all your armor pieces to be shadowed. And the last filler, you want to use a silent weapon, like a weapon with a suppressor or any weapon that is naturally silent, like a bow, for example. And now, very important thing to remember, you cannot use P-Boy light or any other light while sneaking. Like you can see at this moment, I am fully hidden. If I activate my flashlight, I'm in caution and I will be in danger really soon. They are already investigating my position as I just switch on the light for a second. It's how strong the P-Boy light or any light is affecting your stealth. You cannot remain hidden, you cannot remain in caution if you use your light. They will detect you and they will attack you. Uh, next, what I'm pretty sure was a thing in the past, it doesn't look like radio is actually doing anything detection-wise. Like, I can switch on the radio and nothing. I'm pretty sure it was affecting stealth in the past, Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just my imagination. At this moment, doesn't look like it's affecting the stealth. Next, enemy will try to investigate your position as well when you start shooting. But important to know is only when you actually hit one of them. If I'm shooting like in the air, it's not as strong of an effect when I actually shoot them. Because when I shoot them, I'm got getting into caution. Actually, they lost sight of me for whatever reason really quickly. Now I have them back and yeah, those those ones are pretty blind. But usually after you shoot them a couple times, they will start as well blindly shooting back. Let's see if I can make them. All right. He's investigating. They, they're not shooting. they only investigating. But that's fine. Sometimes they are shooting back. We'll try to provoke some other one. Where's the doggo? Here are you hiding. Can I get your friend in here? Yeah, you see? They are running towards me. Because they can see... Oh, and yes, that, that's exactly what I was talking about. The blind fire. It's so-called blind fire. They are shooting towards my position where they were able to hear a sound of me shooting at them, like now. When I move, they continue shooting in the same spot. They do not actually actively shooting at you. They are shooting into the spot they were able to hear sound from. Therefore, if you keep moving, it's usually the best strategy to remain hidden as they are shooting, but towards the sound, the last location they were able to hear you, not actually towards you. What you probably noticed as well, whenever you are shooting them, as long as you are in caution or hidden, you are getting bonus damage. Standard, it's two times the damage, two times multiplier. It can be further boosted by covert operative, giving you 2.5 times the normal damage. It's an additive damage boost, like every, every other damage boost in game at this moment. What means you count it from base weapon damage, not from your total damage, but it's still a lot of extra damage. It will not work though, if enemies are engaged in combat 
with anyone or anything else. If you see enemies fighting each other or fighting other players, your sneak attack damage will not work. You will do a basic attack damage. There will be no multiplier from sneak. Although the legendary perk follow through will indeed work and it will give this boost to everyone shooting the enemy you tag with this perk. How you do it? As long as you are in caution or hidden, when you shoot an enemy, you apply a follow through debuff that lasts 10 seconds. And everyone after that, shooting this enemy will have 40% more damage when your perk is maxed out. Keep in mind due to server lag, it usually takes about one second for this debuff to apply to the enemy. As well, I want to show you how you can figure out yourself how loud your weapon is. First, what you need, you need to find a turret, any turret. You need to be hidden and approach turret slowly until your hidden bracket will get slightly smaller. Like in this moment, my bracket is smaller, that's perfect. And now to figure out how loud your weapon is, you just shoot, but not the turret, like above, and observe your bracket size change. If it's only slight reduction in, in bracket size, your weapon is silent. If it's a big reduction or change, your weapon is not silent. Like I can change to this 10 millimeter submachine gun. And now if I shoot, you can see that bracket went super small. I was not detected only because I didn't hit anything. Keep in mind, whenever you are hitting enemies, detection from your weapon noise is much higher than when you are just shooting in the air. Then this is loud. You can see by bracket and suppressor this is silent only small change in the bracket and as well you can notice this weapon is explosive legendary effect but the fact it's explosive doesn't affect the sound level of the weapon then it's still silent the explosion from legendary effect does not affect your detection and now we need to go over another topic. There are situations when you will be detected no matter what, no matter your stealth ability, your sneak, nothing will matter, you'll get detected. Even though stealth itself and your sneak is not capped, you can keep increasing it as much as you want. There is just a point when you don't actually need any more. Like when you are already sneaky enough, you don't need to increase it, but you can and it does work, it does stack. Like you can keep increasing agility, you can keep adding your sneak perk, you can eat some buffs, you can use stealth boy, it all adds up. But in case of daily ops, you will be always detected there. What it says here, greatly enhanced perception. They do not mean greatly enhanced perception. They mean that you will be always in danger. You cannot hide. They don't even need this enhanced perception. They will always know where you are, even if you are behind four walls from the nearest enemy. They will always be aware where you are. You will always be in danger. Other situation, I will show you some example. Those will be all creatures that can go underground. Okay, I see some more rats on the horizon. They should be able to detect me as soon as one of them will dig underground. As you can see, as long as they above the ground, they cannot see me, but let's try to provoke one to dig underground and you will see what will happen. You see, I'm instantly in danger. As soon as one dig underground, I'm in danger. No matter how far they will be from me, what I will be doing, how good my stealth gear will be, if I will use stealth boy or not, as soon as one of them goes underground, they know where I am, no matter what. Somehow, by being underground, they can see everything. I can lose them only if they will be all above the ground. You see, he dig down again, and as long as he's digging underground, I cannot lose him. Then I will just shoot him. And now I'm in caution because the other guy was above the ground and back in danger because he dig underground. Whenever they dig underground, the same apply to rat scorpions, you will be instantly detected, no matter what you are doing. There's no way around it. And just quickly one more thing about escape artist. 
For this spell to work, you actually need to be in plain sight of the enemy. Then you just crouch, you go invisible for one second and you are going back to caution. If you are engaged in combat, but instead of crouching inside of the enemy, you run behind the cover first and then crouch, you will remain in danger, like escape artists will not do its job. You can see I'm still in danger, but if I run in plain sight of the enemy and then crouch, I'm going into caution. That's how escape artists work, just to clarify, because there is a lot of confusion around this perk. It's a little bit counterintuitive because you would think that it will work better if you go behind the cover, but it is actually not that. As well in the topic of stealth, if you have a stealth suit, you can actually use a peep boy light or flashlight. If you have a stealth suit, you can use it. You will still get penalty because of using the light, but it is like much, much smaller than a penalty of using a light when you are visible. And I don't even know what kind of enemy can see me when I switch it on the light as I cannot see anyone. You can see how huge the penalty is. I'm switching the light and I'm in caution and I don't even know what is detecting me. That's how huge this penalty is when you don't have a stealth suit. In the same time, uh, I want to tell you a very important thing about Chameleon, because Chameleon is giving you invisibility, but what you need to know, you want all five pieces if you want full effect, even though visually you can see exactly the same effect from one piece as from five pieces in practice, in game, one piece is giving you only 20% of stealth field. Therefore, to match, Invisibility provided by stealth suit, you need five pieces of chameleon. And those five pieces of chameleon only works when you are stationary. Unlike stealth suit, that works always, even if you are walking. And those are all most important things you need to know about a stealth to be successful. Just remember about four fillers, silent weapon, shadowed mod on your armor, escape artist perk equip and high total agility doesn't matter from where you get it can be from foot buffs can be from your armor or under armor or from your base stat the important thing is go high at least above 20 and don't forget if you are getting quickly detected check your light make sure it's off about the sneak damage keep in mind you are getting this bonus only if enemy is not engaged in combat. As soon as enemy is engaged in combat with you or with someone else or with something else, you are not getting sneak attack damage bonus. If you still have any questions, please go into comment section and I will try to address all your concern best to my abilities. And now as always, thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next one.